Hello, Ensigns, and welcome to another episode of the aptly named Helpin' Ensign. Hopefully you're finding success on the not-so-friendly seas of World of Warships. I know last episode I said we'd be covering Torpedo Spread next, but there's been a little change of plans because to me, covering Torpedo Spread is putting the cart before the horse. It'd be much more helpful to go over the basics of torpedo acquisition, so that's what we're going to cover this week. Destroyers are a fun little ship to use. They're quick, agile, and though weak can cause devastating effect on larger ships with their torpedoes. Some of the things first time players don't realize though is that all torpedoes have an effective range. They don't just continue on forever. So before you even fire your first shot, you need to be aware of your ship's limits. And let me tell you, for US destroyers, that limit is a lot less than their IJN counterparts. The first resource for learning the distance of your ship's torpedo range is in port. Very simply, you just go to the right side of the screen to the torpedo drop down tab. Bam! There it is, right there for you. If you upgrade to a different torpedo type, the drop down will update as well. So there's your first resource. With so many ships, it's not always easy to remember such fine details as torpedo range. So in game, there are two ways to determine the range. First, for exact range in kilometers, you need only press the control key. From there, your mouse pointer will appear. Just hover over the torpedo icon and it'll instantly tell you the range. Second is the range indicator on your mini-map. This is even more important because it tells you visually if an enemy is in range or not. Here, let me blow up the mini-map so you get a better view. By the way, you can blow up your mini-map by pressing the plus and minus key. You can see right now the circle encompassing my ship. This represents the range of my guns. Now, I switch to torpedoes and the range changes. This is your kill circle. If you fire at a ship that's outside this circle, chances are you will not hit it. If your enemy is on the fringe of the circle and is headed away from you, again, chances are you might not hit him. So now that you've selected torpedoes and have verified your ship's range, how do you know where to shoot? This one is easy enough. You'll see a gray lead indicator cone. This is literally telling you where you need to aim based on the ship's current course. As the ship changes course, so does the position of the lead indicator. All you need to do is match your green torpedo aiming cone with the lead indicator and fire. It's that simple. Of course this won't guarantee a hit. Ships can change speed and they can turn. Next week I'll really cover torpedo spread which will go more into the finer aspects of firing salvos. But to get you by, try this. When firing with your first salvo, fire directly within the lead indicator cone perfectly matched with your aiming cone. Now, with your second salvo, Aim your cone just a little ahead of the lead indicator. If you have a third salvo, as some IJN DDs and USDDs do, you can even aim that one a little behind. This will hopefully account for changes in the enemy's speed and course. At the very least, it'll give you a better chance of landing a hit. So there you go. These are the basics of torpedo target acquisition and simplistic firing. Now that the cart is back behind the horse, we'll cover torpedo spread next which will make you a deadly fighting machine. Now get out there in your destroyers and wreak some havoc. Zoop out.